Hi, in this video we want to talk about table of content. So in this project we have a title, we have some headings here and I rename the headings in order to see what style we need to apply. So let's choose for title, title for heading 1, heading 1 and so on. Um, we want to see how to insert very quick a table of content if we want uh, the default form but first we need to uh, style everything in order to do that so for heading 2 we choose a heading 2 style heading 3 heading 3 and so on okay we finish let's go here let's insert some text we doesn't have certain text after that heading Okay, we finished that. What is the difference between heading 1 and heading 2? Let's see. Let's go to outline numbering here. We can see we have outline level, level 1. And here we have level 2 and so on. So this is what uh, makes the difference between heading 1 and heading 2. Uh, and we can change that for any style. If we go to any style we can move here we can change here to have uh, that heading one or heading two and so on so now let's go here and let's insert let's go to insert table of content and if we want the default we just press ok you can see here we have a uh, so heading 1 is not heading 1, it's heading 2. Okay, now let's update. You can see here we have three levels. This level for heading 1, this level for heading 2, and this level here for heading 3. So this is the difference, the hierarchy is the difference between these styles. So, um, It's very important to style them correct in order to be um, here in the correct order. It's very easy to update. If I'm changing here, I right click and update index. Okay, you can see the title change here. Now let's remove that. And very easy, I can uh, let's uh, remove this heading three. Let's update. This text disappear or heading free disappear from here. Again, very easy. I can delete, of course, this index, or I can edit. For example, I can change the title instead of table of content. I can change to another title. Let's write what you can learn from this book, and let's press OK. Okay. So any title we want, we have here. Let's edit. We can choose to protect or not this document. Let's see what happens if we don't protect. We can change anything in this uh, table of content. But if I update, everything is lost. So all my work is lost because uh, this is not protected. So let's protect and now everything is automatic. Create index for entire document or for chapter. If I choose for chapter, only for the first heading will be included here. So from here until, let's see, from here until here. So I have, so this will be another chapter. Uh, so I have heading one, one, two, three, Two, three, three, okay. And if I want another table of content for this chapter, I have to insert down there. Let's see what we have more. We can change the levels. How many levels we want to show? Now we have three levels. Let's change. Let's. See. We have one level, two level, and the three level here. Uh, let's change here to one heading one two times because these have the same name let's rename it 
uh, another heading. Let's update. And I have heading on another heading. Okay, so this heading on another heading. Everything that have heading one style. If I choose two levels, you can see I have level one and level two. Three levels. It's like before. Let's see with two levels. I have heading one and heading two levels. Okay, in the next episode, we will talk about this one from here. Let's talk another thing about the background. You can see I have a gray background. And how do I change? Okay. Let's see. We have an option in tools, options, LibreOffice, application colors. And from here, let's go up here, index and table shading. Let's choose white. You can see in the background, it's changed, it's white. Automatic, it's this gray. I don't like this. And I changed to a light gray. Okay. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thanks.